735, solve the equations with variables on both sides. These are like not only two-step questions, but they involve distribution. They also involve variables on both sides. They involve collecting like terms. Everything kind of comes together for these kind of questions. That's why I want you to practice them as much as possible, humanly possible. More than anything yeah, else. And here we go. Everybody write that down, plus 4x. And we get what? 8x plus 4x equals what? This cancels, right? What is it, Katrina? 8x huh? plus 4x? 8x plus 4, 11x? Uh, 12x. Oh, 12 x That's what I thought you said. Um, so we rewrite this. 12x minus 1 equals 23. What happened to the negative 4x? Where'd it go, Bernadette? Gone. Gone, gone. Yeah. yeah. Does it turn into an x? No, no. Negative 4x opposites always cancel. All opposites make 0. Negative 4x and 4x are 0. And plus 0, we don't have to write plus 0 because it doesn't add anything. I could write plus 0, but it doesn't matter. It's like the invisible 1. It doesn't change anything. So in convention, we don't. See the power of the 0 and the 1 again? See? The 0 also has invisible powers, doesn't it? Remember I said 1 has invisible powers? So does 0. The power, most powerful number, 0 and 1. All right, so 12x minus 1 equals 23. What do we do on both sides? Alexis has already talked to Taylor. You do the opposite, so you add. Add 1, and guess what? What's negative 1 plus 1, Adam? Uh, 0. That's right. And it equals 24. 12x equals. And what do we do now? Let's finish it off, Allie. You divide 12 on both sides. You divide 12 on both sides. And x equals 2. x equals 2. There it is. Done. Okay. Now you can check it. I got my numbers together, so why don't we do something with them? What's 5 minus 7? Negative 2. Negative 2 plus 4x. I rewrite it. I'm not afraid of writing stuff down. What's 4x minus x? Bernadette. 4x minus x? Yeah, come on. You know what it is. What if I do this? What if I put that invisible 1 in there? Then what is it? Yes, 3x. Three, three there you go. She knows. Never say you don't know when you know. Allie? Do you add 3x to the 4x? You, now, if you added 3x, you wouldn't get rid of it, right? You wouldn't want to add it, right? Because it's just going to make this 6x if you add 3x. Oh, so you do the inverse and you right. subtract it. You subtract it, right? Now, why did we do that with 3x, Jonathan, and why not with, um, why, don't, why, why are we not subtracting 4x? Why did we choose 3x to work with? Because it's small. Yes, we move the smaller rocks because they're easier to move. Right? Now what do we get? Okay, we're negative 2. Jonathan, take over from here. What do we get? What's 4x minus 3x? 1x. So what do we have now? Okay, somebody who's, uh, who's paying attention. Um, Adam or Desiree? Um, you add 2 to 3. Um, okay, yeah, but first of all, we got 4x minus 3x, we got 1x. So we got negative 2 plus 1x equals 3. Okay, that's how we got there. All right, now we're going to the next step. Desiree has it. You want to isolate x? Go ahead, Desiree. What do we do? You add 2 to 3. In other words, we take we add 2 on both sides. Why? Because negative 2 plus 2 are opposites. They cancel. And what do we do? This is equal to? Five. X equals? Five. And we're done. Just right there is fine. Well, so move just to the left of the room. Move to that way. Move close to Alan. Okay, Connor? You got that? Okay, so this is like an invisible one, right? Yeah. Would that help if we drew that? Yeah, I just... And then as... as I know you just said that. And uh, as... Uh, who is it, Raman? Said you draw the little rainbows, right? Yeah. Draw the little rainbows. Yeah, okay. So as Katrina said, now one more time, Katrina, I'm sorry. Okay, 5R. Yeah, 2R. Yeah, minus 2R. And then minus 8. Yeah. Minus Don't forget to distribute the negative onto the 8 as well, right, Robin? Mm -hmm. Write it down. Equals 16. Equals 16. Now we're well on our way. And then you do 5R minus 2R. Which equals? 3R. Yeah. Minus 8. And then you have to do the opposite to 8, so you add 8. Uh -huh. And so then it becomes 3R. Well, yeah. Keep going. You got it. I don't know, can you say it? Oh, okay. R equals 8. Good job.
Rainbow. Okay, um. Rainbow's friendly. There you go. Bless you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Rainbows. Rainbow. Rainbow. Okay, now what do we get when we do those rainbows? We multiply, right? What do we get, Alara? Plus. Good job. Now write it. Plus nine. Keep going. Keep going. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. Three T. Now don't forget the minus sign. Yep. Good job. Nice job. Stand aside for a sec so everybody can see it. She just did that like no problem. Cairo, now instruct Miss Alara as to what would our next step be. Oh, come on over then, Cairo P. Okay. Okay. All right, what's our next step? Collect like terms. Which ones are the like? Which socks in the sock drawer? Put them together. Well, we can't, we're not going to put that, they, you can only collect on the same side. So, 15 and, 15 and 9. So, what do we get? Alara, go ahead and do it. 5t plus. Don't get it, huh? 5t plus 15 plus 9. 5t plus 24. Now, on the other side, this is Adam's one. What, what's negative 6 plus 6? Uh, zero. Zero. Right. Equals 3t. Look what we did. Isn't it nice to organize things? Right Makes bigger. it real nice. Yeah, make it yeah. a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, can you do it a little bigger? Yeah. Um, next step, yeah, she's going to rewrite it. 5t plus 24. Don't worry about it. Make it big. There you go. 5t plus 24 equals 3t. And she does have that nice form of writing. That's very nice. Okay, Cairo, what do we do next? We're almost there. We're nailing it on. What do we now again? Big rock, little rock. Which one's the big rock? Which one's the little rock, Cairo? Five. That's right. We don't want to move the big rock. Just leave it where it is. Too heavy. So three, use three T. Say what say what you mean minus three T. Minus three T. Well, three T no. Three T minus three T is equal to zero. That's it. You can do that. Subtract 3T on both sides. So 2T plus 24. 2T plus 24 equals 0. I know a lot of students have a problem with that. But that's... E no, 2T plus 24 equals 0. Equals 0. 2T plus 24. 2T... Plus 24 equals a big zero. Subtract two t. Two t plus 24 equals zero. Now why again? Because three t minus three t is zero. Of course you can do that. It's yeah, nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's zero. So um, Raman, what do we do to finish it? We're still solving for t. We're almost there. We keep on moving. What are we doing? It's 24, not two y. Two t plus 24. I could say it looked like a y. Oh, okay. 2t plus 24, don't, don't you? Equals zero. What do we do? We can't do that because t is t. One of them doesn't have a variable, right? That's right. And that's the one we want to move. Yeah, so you want to move the 24. That's right. So how do we move it? Uh, you, 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 that's okay. We we get how boring we need to. Subtract 24 on both sides. Okay. Go ahead, Alara. Friendly neighborhood, Alara. We're going to have to move it up here, put a little arrow up here. Oh, look at that. And now uh, it's 2t equals negative 24. We're not done yet. And neither are you, Roman. Not up to look yet. <laughs> All right, so now divide by 2, right? On both sides. What you get? See? Because we want to get rid of the 2. The inverse operation, you divide the 2. Oh, that. Oh, 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 <laughs> so t was <laughs> negative 12. Do not see me. You could have said 6, and I was like, wait. I know. I said Don't. Negative.